morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did not want to get up this morning. I didn't want to do a thing. <sighs> but unfortunately, I do have to leave my house today. I'm so tired. Um, I am very tired. Hold on. Let's see what happened. What's the last thing you probably saw? You hear my dryer? That's what it is, my dryer. <laughs> um, let's see. I went to the baptism. It was so beautiful. It was a double whammy. Two of the girls got baptized, so it was really nice. It was a beautiful moment and special for both of them. It was, it was great. I was able to capture some footage that should be in here. I took some photos, so it was great. Um, it's just been, today's Friday. I've been moving for about a week now. Well, yeah, you know, just the process of it all. And I'm just like, I haven't even really gotten to the fun stuff yet, like the decorating and everything. It's more so it's very tedious and I don't do well with a lot of junk. <laughs> it's crazy. The older I've gotten, I just can't do messes. Um, cleanliness is close to godliness, am I right? So, <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't do it. So that's just like been making me feel very overwhelmed. I feel a little stressed out. Um, this morning I was laying, in, well, I woke up this morning and I want to have a discussion about mental health, about anxiety. Don't let anybody tell you that anxiety is not real, okay, because it is. I didn't understand anxiety, honestly, until 2020 when I believe that's when it became more prevalent, like mental health and things like that. People start talking about it a little bit more. I think that's when I started hearing about it more. And I realized that, like, I do get anxious quite a bit. Um, and now that you know, I got saved in 2021, I gave my life to the Lord. And it was something that I brought up to him because I didn't know how to like handle that. And I didn't just didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, and so I started praying. He's like, you know, just give me all your, cast all your burdens and your worries and your anxieties. Anxieties? <laughs> all your anxiousness onto me. That's what the Lord wants us to do. So honestly, sometimes it's difficult for me to do that because I feel like they're not important enough to give to the Holy King. Like, I don't want to bother him with that. Um, but that's crap. It's crap. And today I woke up feeling like very anxious, just like not really understanding why, if I'm being honest. I do a little bit. I started like blaming my anxiety on like little things. And like I knew that wasn't true. It was just, a, it was adding to it, but that wasn't where it was stemming from. And so I start praying the lord told me like to pray and i just i told him i couldn't because i didn't want to like burden him <laughs> with that i'm just being real totally transparent with y'all hope that's okay um but i went to the bible app like just, maybe i have just find a good scripture <laughs> went to the bible app and literally i kid you not for some reason now when i open up my bible app it um i go to like the the scripture like say i choose like philippians or something right and i click on it but the daily refresh like the daily scripture of the day will pop up usually i will have to click on it to read it but now it just pops up it's been like that for like two months now i don't know what the problem is i've updated it and everything but all that to say i was going to a scripture today like a random scripture and it came up the daily scripture came up and it said do you feel anxious <laughs> no cap bro no cap it said do you feel anxious um, my phone's not out here. I will show you. I will show you. Okay. Um, do you feel anxious? Do you feel, um, that you have anxiety or something like that? And it led me, I think it was Isaiah. I don't remember. I'll find my phone and I'll show you later or I'll put it on the screen. Um, today is May 31st. So yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah. And so I'm reading it and I just start crying. Like god you are so good and so i just started talking to him about like what i was feeling anxious about and things like that speaking life over my myself and my mind and things like that and i would love to like kind of talk about that a little bit more because it's something i've been i've dealt with for pretty much i feel like all my life but i just didn't know what it was like suddenly feeling overwhelmed or suddenly feeling anxious about something and just like really 
giving it to God and him helping me through that and guiding me through my anxious side it has just been quite beautiful and transforming to me um because he knows exactly what I need to hear he he knows it all and from there today on my bed when all this happened I just went into a prayer for everyone and I was praying for myself and speaking life over myself and then it just kept going to other people and I just feel so much better I'm still exhausted I still this mess is just pissing me off I'm not gonna lie to you but I don't feel as anxious about it I don't feel overwhelmed and I'm not saying that when you are overwhelmed that it is like this major crazy thing but to some people it is and mine just makes me feel like I want to shut down and that is not okay um so the Lord has really been helping me with that and just having taken that 10-15 minutes maybe 20 minutes that I did today um to just really pray was phenomenal um, it just, like I said, he's just been transforming my life and in every single way. It's not just in things that people can see. It's my mental health. It is my well-being. You know, it's my mindfulness. Like, it's just everything. And God is just so good. Thank you, Jesus. He's just so good. He handles everything. Um, but it takes you surrendering to him. And I, ha I say that when I start to feel myself like wanting to take control because I I'm not going to claim this over my life anymore but I have a tendency had a tendency to be a control freak about every single thing and that was something the Lord had to really work with me on when I first got saved um but when I feel myself kind of just wanting to take it into my own hands or you know starting to shut down I have to verbally say Lord I surrender to you I give my life to you I give this day to you I give this moment to you have your way I believe help my unbelief like I believe you're gonna do this but I'm struggling to see because I don't see nothing going on I'm still feeling this type of way um, and, but when I I'm being honest and so when I tell him these things it truly just it's helpful to me um, just giving it to Jesus so let me get off my soapbox I went on a little bit longer than I wanted but hopefully that I encourage somebody and because it's not something that I typically talk about with many people um, but because i don't like <laughs> whatever i'll let it go but yeah but i don't have the um little pop-up that came <laughs> on the bible app but i will read to you the scripture it's isaiah 26 20 26 3. this is in the amplified version let me change this version actually i'll do an iv you so it starts with you but it's talking about the lord you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. And I wish I had the little pop-up thingy. But the guided scripture when she actually talks, it's just really, it encouraged me because she was talking about, and that scripture talks about trusting in the Lord. Um, and when you trust in God, like fully, getting going back to that surrendering that I was talking about. Um, he gives you that perfect peace perfect peace that surpasses all understanding and yeah isaiah 26 3 i need to meditate on that word a little bit more um and i encourage you to do the same read it in all the different versions whatever is more helpful to you i know message version msg is chef's kiss so it really breaks it down for you it makes it real real so <laughs> check that one out but let me get back to the day for time escapes me I just dropped off my keys. Oh my gosh, checked my mail for the last time, collected my robes, I left my robes. It's done, it is finito. Wow. I think I already did a little spiel, so I won't go crazy into that, but like it just made it super official now. God is so good. Wow. Goodbye! <laughs> Dude. My neck is sweating. <sighs> I gotta move. <laughs> I need to get up out of here. Um, and I'm gonna do a taste test because I could, this is my favorite smoothie joint. But I've got something different today. She's thick. Okay. Mmm. This about to be so good. I know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have the lamp 
right next to me. Can you see it? This thing here. Um, literally right next to me, and I need to go take it to Target and return some other stuff. <sighs> Just a bunch of returns. And if I don't find like the lamp I'm looking for today at Target or when I go to Home Goods, I gotta return something to Home Goods too. I was gonna look online because I'm over it right now. So today, I need to organize that catastrophe. Let's get a close up. <sighs> the pantry. So I've never organized a pantry before, just like cabinets. So this is fun, exciting. I got all these cute things. Let me show you. I don't know if it's enough, but I didn't want to overbuy. But I got this basket. It is wood, I forget, like aluminum. Not aluminum. It's wired, I know that. Um, wood and black. So this is a two holder. I was thinking maybe like protein bars, breakfast bars in that. I don't know. Um, I also got these for my refrigerator. They're liners. I thought that was cute instead of like seeing like peelings of fruit or veggies in the drawers i don't like that that is not cute to me so i didn't know these existed I'm very happy that they do and i got two of these they sit like this like you can pull them out or just so they're not too tall but the perfect grab and go type of ordeal i got two of those however i was looking in there just now in the cat in the pantry and i'm like I need inspo because I don't know <laughs> how to start. So, and I don't like things just thrown in there. It doesn't look cute. It's not cute. So I'm gonna look on TikTok right now. Let me see. Honestly, nobody's giving me what I wanted to see, so I'm gonna just go for it. I'm just going to jump right in. So here we go. circle back when I do like a full grocery run I will excuse me come back to this 